Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm came back to reshoot the intro for Dr. Beasley's Pain Hero. The, the first one I, I did was too long and too confusing. And the original plan was to use it on the Camaro, which I, I did use on the Camaro. But that day I washed all three cars and I really wanted to knock them out as fast as possible. So I didn't get capture the hydrofluid behavior on the Camaro. So what I ended up doing is I washed that one, washed my dad's Impala, then I washed this one last. But I did a rinseless wash on this one with ammo frothy then I came back with the Dr. Beasley's Pain Hero uh, so you'll see that in the upcoming video and so the question is what is Pain Hero so Dr. Beasley's calls it a ceramic drying lubricant which is another term for drying aid lubricant is actually the correct term if you really think about it and the way you use this is Pain Hero is a ceramic drying lubricant that helps to prevent scratches while towel drying the vehicle's paint this product creates an ultra slick surface that sharply reduces towel friction increases shine and adds hydrophobicity so it's not ultra slick as it says on the label here. It's in line with the McGuire's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. Use Paint Hero whenever you have to touch a vehicle exterior with a towel. And directions, mist onto a microfiber towel, fold it into fourths and gently wipe wet panel or small area. Two, flip towel to a surface to flip towel to a dry side or use a new towel and buff until the surface is dry. Three, if a towel becomes saturated, flip to a new side or use a new towel and continue to buff. Dr. Beasley suggests for best results use an air blower first to dry off as much water as possible without touching the surface. Always use a soft high quality microfiber towel compatible with coated and uncoated vehicles. So again just a drying aid type product uh, that will leave some sort of protection behind. I don't know how durable it is because that's not on the Dr. Beasley site. I will link their video at the beginning of this one to show uh, a link to the Dr. Beasley's video where they go over their their spray products and what they're designed for um, for you know their own what their uses are for so uh, just a quick intro here I reshot it uh, so the next video is to follow this where you see the application on the Grand Prix and then the hydrophobics on the Grand Prix and then my final thoughts on it uh, after having it on the paint for uh, about a week so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next part and eventually we'll catch you on the next one Alright, welcome back everyone. So as I'm doing my review for uh, Dr. Beasley's Pain Hero, uh, change of plans. I decided to just rinse it off because I don't have a lot of daylight and I'm just going to use uh, ammo frothy during the, during the wash process. I had some left over in here so I'm just going to go ahead and just use it. So I rinsed off the uh, heavy stuff first. Yeah, so you definitely need about 40 ounces in here. You can hear this thing kicking in. So as I mentioned, you need about 40 ounces in there to for the for that thing to not sputter like I was doing with the uh, the original time when I was doing the Camaro. Yeah, I'm just going to go over this like so during the wash process and I'm going to use that paint hero as a drying aid. We're going to, we're going to see how it does uh, with this product. One thing I will mention is that with these foaming waterless washes it sometimes it's best to just let the product the foam dissipate before you start putting any kind of topper during the wash process. It just does better because it becomes a smeary mess if 
you just go right into your drying aid so I'm just gonna do this like I said normally I would do a bucket wash but since I just rinsed it off it was just easier because I'm gonna lose daylight so the only place I'm not gonna use that Dr. Beasley's product is on the um, on the wheels I got another um, thing I want to do for the wheels to showcase how to maintain your Adams graphene ceramic coating so I'm gonna use this side to clean the glass so I got that planned uh, since I'm gonna be taking the doing some suspension stuff on this car I'm gonna be doing that so okay so now I can wipe this part down We'll see if uh, Paint Hero does a good job of being a drying aid. And because I rinsed uh, the car off first, there's not that much dirt. Like, I washed the heavy dirt or rinsed it away. So that's pretty much fit for this towel. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and swap these over here. So just monitor your the cleanliness of your towel once it gets sturdy. Just move over to a clean side. Okay, so let me just do this front piece and then we'll go over to Paint Hero. Okay, so my Camaro was actually, I mean, my Grand Prix was dirtier than the Camaro. And Emma Frothy, with this process, did a good job. I, I could achieve the same thing with the Adams as well. Okay. Let's get underneath there and get all that foam out of there. Okay. So let me just remember that that's the clean side there. And so I'm going to use this. The only part I'm, I can't, I don't want to do, actually maybe it's a good idea. So I'm going to have to come back and do the, uh, the top separately. Okay, so Dr. Beasley is here. Okay, so they tell you to spray into the towel. So I'll throw two spritzes in there. We'll see how this, just put this in my pocket for now. What you'll notice with this product is it starts to rainbow like a true uh, coating. Okay, so let me come back. I have a Griot's PFM. So I'm working kind of fast. Just come back. Oh yeah, that works way better with this towel. Okay. So that works really good. Wow, okay. Okay, so this PFM towel, twisted loop towel is definitely what you want. And that came off very good. No residue. Actually worked better than Dreammaker. 
with Emma Frothy. And um, very slick. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do the glass. And I think with this product, what I'm gonna do is just to showcase the hydrophobics, I'm not gonna put this, I'm gonna put uh, nothing on that side. And I'll just, I don't, the hybrid ceramic detailer is on that side for Meguiar's. This side will just be the Dr. Beasley's uh, Paint Hero. Um, because it is hydrophobic. I'm gonna put on the trim as well. So you can see it starts to rainbow like a true coating. So just get yourself a twist loop towel. Oh yeah, much better. This works very good. So this is a Griot's PFM. Came right off. Just get underneath the wiper. Okay, so that works out very good. Okay, so no issue there. And then I'll do this painted surface here. Just to showcase the product. And I'm gonna do this whole section. So it feels slick. It feels just as slick as the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. It's not overly slick like the uh, Gion Detailer. What is that? Let's see if I can get that off. So yeah, it's not overly slick like the Hybrid Ceramic Detailer from... Or the, um, what do you call it? The Gion Ceramic Detailer. But dang, that looks good. And um, as far as gloss, I can't really tell because it's, I'm losing daylight, so it looks decent enough here. Uh, but again, it's not overly slick. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, if you're going to buy this product for that, uh, this is not going to be uh, slick in that regard. It feels like the Meguiar's product uh, in that regard. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue going around the, the vehicle here. Go ahead and hit this spot here. But uh, so far it's enjoyable to wipe off. And it's working very good with the um, ammo frothy. Ammo frothy in this Grios PFM. All right, so let me just go around the entire car here. And finish, because if I keep it on camera, I'm gonna take forever. So, uh, it's just another quick, or I should say that's the Paint Hero from Dr. Beasley's. Get that little bug out of here. And we're using it as a drying aid during the ammo frothy process. I just kind of want to showcase it. And you can see that it does rainbow like a ceramic coating. So just come back, knock that down. Uh, 
and you're good to go. That looks nice. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward to use. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the rest of this panel here and go ahead and clean the rest of the car. But that's so far, that's the Dr. Beasley's Paint Hero as a drying aid. We'll take a look at the hydrophobic behavior. Again, I'm only gonna put it on, on this side of the glass and then we'll see what the, we'll compare it to the Meguiar's that's been on there for like two weeks already. And we'll see how that, how that does. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, everyone. So I'm actually gonna be doing an update to Paint Hero. It's been on the Grand Prix for about six days. I've already wiped down this side here, the, the glass and the paint here with N914 and I came back with a panel wipe with Meguiar's M122. Uh, right now I have ammo frothy on the rest of the car because I'm letting that kind of be my pre-soak. I'm gonna rinse the car off and then bring it back in and then do a waterless wash with Echo. But uh, I wiped down, it, well, I wanted to use up the ammo frothy that was in here. And so I'm just letting that kind of just sit on the paint, kind of just bring things down, take it out, rinse it off. Uh, but uh, during that rinse off process, I wanna show you the hydrophobics of Paint Hero. Uh, it is a hydrophobic product. On that side, we have um, two week old Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. So I'm just gonna let this sit up for another 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna pull it outside. And um, basically when I'm using the frothy that was left over in there was to encapsulate some of the dirt. So that when I rinse it off, it comes off clean. Um, that's all I'm really doing. And then I'm gonna bring it back in and I'll show, um, but this side's already clean. So I'm just gonna show you the hydrophobics there. So let me back out the car come back to you and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so I pulled the car out. Uh, I had some ammo frothy sitting on the surface to break down some of the the dirt here. Um, but I had wiped down the, the passenger side here with N914 and also the, the hood here. Wiped it down with some panel wipe. And I wanna show you the hydrophobics of Dr. Beasley's uh, Paint Hero. And so that's pretty hydrophobic. It looks good. It's on the paint. So it looks hydrophobic on the paint here. That kind of getting close. You can see that it has really nice water beating on here. So Dr. Beasley's Paint Hero is at least a hydrophobic product. Which is a good thing. So let me just go ahead and finish rinsing this off, but I'll get to the final thoughts on the Paint Hero. Uh, thus far it looks promising as far as the hydrophobic behavior. I'll pull the camera off my head and then um, I'll come back for final thoughts. So here we go. So really tight water beating on the surface just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So let me just get finished washing the car and then I'll show you the, uh, I'll come back with final thoughts on the Dr. Beasley's product. Okay, so I came on my iPhone to give you an even closer look at the hydrophobic behavior and properties, I should say, of the Dr. Beasley's uh, Paint Hero. So let me just come in close. And then my iPhone focus. And you can see that those water beads are very tight. And that's pretty impressive for what it is. And I'll transition over to the glass just to give you an idea what it looks like on the glass. Harder to capture on the glass, but again, just as tight on the glass surface, like on the paint. So just a quick, close-up view of the water beating of Dr. Beasley's uh, Paint Hero. Okay, so final thoughts on Dr. Beasley's Paint Hero. Um, for me, I was actually surprised to see how hydrophobic the product was because Dr. Beasley's tends to lean more towards the hydrophilic side, meaning uh, water sheeting versus water beading. Uh, you know, Z1, for example, is a hydrophilic product. It's a all-in-one product. And, you know, it, it, it's basically a sheeting type product. Uh, they have another spray coating, I forget the name of it, which again is also sheeting, uh, low, what do they call it, low sliding angle, I, I believe what they call it, but they're basically sheeting products, 
Pain Hero is actually hydrophobic. So I was actually quite surprised at how hydrophobic it was. And I was really, you know, for me, I prefer hydrophobic versus hydrophilic. Uh, it's just easier to dry uh, from a, from a, what do you call it? A, from my perspective versus me using a product like Z1 uh, hydrophobic for me it's just easier to dry in, using a, a blow dryer uh, sheeting type products in order for you to get that full effect you have to really flood the surface to get most of that water off and when you come back to dry it sometimes it's a little more difficult to blow dry versus uh, towel dry so this is actually a ceramic uh, drying aid, they call it a drying lubricant, which is actually the correct term, not drying aid, it's actually a drying lubricant. If you have any st remaining water on your surface, spray it into your towel. Again, spray it in your towel. If you spray it on the surface, it's a little harder to work with, but if you spray it into a, a towel um, and you spread it on the surface and then w come back and wipe it off, that's when the product works very well. So I was actually surprised how well it worked, and once I found a, a decent towel that works with it, you know, I used the pluffle. The pluffle actually worked really good when I was drying the car. That actually did a good job with Paint Hero versus something that's really plush. Uh, so again, this is a, a, just a drying aid. Um, again, I was surprised at the hydrophobic. So far, I do enjoy using it. Um, it's not as slick as other products. This has the same type of slickness as the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. It's nothing, you know, it's the complete opposite uh, end of the spectrum where we have like Carpro Elixir, uh, Gion, uh, ceramic detailer that you know those are slick you know bead maker uh, this is over here in the category with hybrid ceramic detailer and, and a couple other products where they're not overly slick but they're you know that the surface tension is, is changed more like a smooth finish versus a slick finish and so that's where this is at so again just a ceramic drying drying aid uh, works it will work with waxes sealants and coatings just go ahead and use it uh, it's going to work with any coating. You don't have to use it with uh, Dr. Beasley's coating. You can use it with anything. Secor, C Technic, uh, Gion, uh, Shine Supply. I mean, I can go. The list goes on with ceramic coatings these days or graphene coatings. Just use it with anything. So again, that's uh, final thoughts on Dr. Beasley's Paint Hero. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.